Hello you and welcome to part one of um, I'm going to call it the World Touring Car Championship and we are now in qualifying in some place called Celebi Celebita or Celebia something similar to that pronou uh, pronunciation uh, but um, we are now I'm doing a let's play on the World Tour Carring Championship which consists of 12 events, two practices, one qualifying round, one warm up two races and the event results before moving on okay if you're not familiar with the rules um, uh, let me just get you updated on them basically if you come very first place or second or third you get added weight to your car so it gives the other people who are not so good or fast in the previous race a chance to catch up and maybe get some points so at the moment they had a th we had five options I had a BMW I could have a see it like an Alfa Romeo, a Chevrolet, which is American, so I didn't like that. But <laughs> sorry to any American fans out there. And I think there was one more team, a Honda, that's the one, and they had an Integra Type 4, or Integra, Integra Type R. But um, I went for Alfa Romeo because I quite like their cars. Um, and I went for a British team, um, and we're now in Q qualifying section. And I, did, I skipped the practice sessions because there's half an hour in each qualifying section, so it's not really that important important so I have plenty of time to make up for mistakes and stuff like that instead of just 15 minutes or 5 minutes like in F1 2010 just more realistic uh, qualifying times so at the moment I've put on pro mode as well so it's on pro mode and it's on 95% skill for the opponents that I'm facing so 95% skill uh, obviously automatic gearbox um, uh, what else is there? There's a few more things, but obviously I'll just get uh, I'll look into them next one. But I hope you just uh, get your first impressions of the game, and let's hope I get a good time on this track. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Shield again. About. It's because they're on their flying laps, I think. Which I've just ruined. <laughs> Flaps was uh, going up and down for a minute there, my uh, crash per second. But uh, I think it stabilised itself now. It usually does that when you first start recording, it's actually really good. But this is amazing. Here we go, foot down. I see this one fall. 140, 150, 160, 170. Jesus Christ, this thing is going fast. Come on, car. <laughs> Holy shit, this is fast. <laughs> Keep in the racing line. Sorry, on the way out. Oh yeah, someone's smoking. Someone's off. Ah, that. Please yield my ass. He's smoking all over the place. We'll oh, break too early on that corner there. Here we go. Time lap. Come on, car. This is an amazing game. Who gives a shit about graphics when you've got stuff like realism like this? I'm in 25th at the moment because I haven't got time down yet, but hopefully this will bring it back out. Oh, oh, oh come on. I see you, Jane Muller.
Jackson right out of the corners. He's pulling away a bit, I think. Accelerate out. 122, 123, 124, 125, 126 makes me 13th place. That's pretty good for the first lap. Oh my god, this thing pulls like a beast. Oh, too much! Oh, God! Oh! <laughs> Let's have a look at the car. I can't see the car, man. I don't know where it's gone. The bonnet looks absolutely mullered from here. Can I have a replay of that, or? <laughs> the hell's this? Oh, this is um, other cars. Sweet. Okie dokie, there's my car. It's in the cockpit. <laughs> because it's fucked. Let's go to TV mode. Full screen. Look, I can, see, I can see the damage on the front right, but I can't see much. Let's have a look at the front. Go down a bit. There's no fucking damage to the car at all. Do I have a puncher? Is that a puncture on the right? No, it's not. It's a, he's just been, been a wimp. Oh, am I allowed back out? <laughs> well, that was good, weren't it? They just said I was out and then I can just drive again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's try not to crash this time. Would be a nice feature to have. But we'll give way to this guy on his qualifying lap. I'm going to go on the inside instead then. Open up the can. Release the horsepower. Fourteenth place, it's pretty good for the first race. At twenty five guys, I'm almost halfway. Sort of sort of. Oh, I can see I can see smoke. Whoa shit. I don't know why that guy brakes so heavily. Ah, oh, he ruined my car. BMW asshole. We've only got a tiny suspension problem. It's not pulling to the left when I'm not steering. It's pulling to the right a tiny bit. Nah, we'll stay out for a bit. I need good laps. Good trusty alpha. Yeah, if I want it, if I want it so more reliable, we've gone for a BM. Ooh. This is 
so much more realistic than F1. best lap but I went off twice I think almost went off twice yeah one 26.4 in the top 10 125.3 that was a good time that's a good time if anyone thinks otherwise they can go suck on it be a better lap. This game doesn't even have a mini map which makes it really really good. Because you're thinking to yourself on a when you're on Formula F1 2010, you're thinking, okay when should I break? How long have I got till the, uh, the turn comes up? And you just look at the mini map and you're like, yeah okay I'll just break in like a few seconds or so. When it comes up but with this, there is no fucking mini map, so you're like, shit, when's the fucking breaking point? Okay, you get a little sign coming up, but that's usually like one second late or something. And by the time you react, you're fucking going off anyway. Especially on this corner, this one's a bitch. Ooh. Oh, these spin outs are so fucking hard to save. So realistic. Okay, what I'm going to do with this one... <laughs> I thought I was going into the barrier then. <laughs> Holy shit. Well that is it for part one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you inside for part two. And give me some feedback on this guys. Obviously there's going to be a lot of less plays on these three games due to different championships like Formula 3. Uh, World Touring Car Championship and uh, what the Swedish World Touring Car Championship, something like that. So give me some feedback here and I'll see you next time.